fifth and final video of this series, we will talk about crossing. It's the goalkeeper's job to command as much as the box as possible. We will talk about both tactically and technically. And last, we will talk about communication. Let's take a look. When dealing with crossing from the right side, the first thing we want to talk about is a good starting position from front, near post, to back post. You do not want to start too deep because then you have too much ground to cover, as well as if you're too close, then you have to backpedal and typically you'll have to take your eye off the ball. So the best thing would probably to start in the middle. Now we want to talk about the position from the end line and out so that you can cover more ground. When figuring out a good starting position off your end line, first it starts with the goalkeeper. Are they confident of where they're starting? First thing is the goalkeeper wants to try to cover as much space, but they need to have a good position. So I would recommend two, three yards off the line. Once again, splitting the difference, front near post to back post. All right, eyes on the ball as the ball is traveling. First wait and watch the, the flight of the ball. Taking small steps to the ball, trying to attack the ball. And last, the most important, when calling for the ball, you must try to call for the ball early as possible. I want to hear either keeper or away. Let's take a look at Sunil at game speed. Good starting position. Small steps, early call, good. Early call, attacking the ball, running through the ball, catching the ball at the highest point that's comfortable for you. Good way to be patient, to watch the flight of the ball. Small, quick steps. Good call at the end, nice and loud and precise. Good starting position. Call early call. This concludes our series on the foundations of goalkeeping. Take what you've learned today, but also with a good attitude, concentration, and effort, and I feel you'll become a better goalkeeper.